The NTSB arrived on scene this morning to investigate the mid-air collision between the Boeing 17G and the Bell P-63F during the Wings Over Dallas Air Show. Before I go any further on behalf of the NTSB, I want to express my deepest sympathies to the families who lost loved ones in this terrible tra tragedy. We are on scene to gather perishable evidence. Our team methodically and systematically reviews all evidence and considers all potential factors to determine the probable cause. Yesterday at about 1322 Central Standard Time, a Boeing B-17G November 7227 Charlie and a Bell P-63F November 6763 collided in midair at the Dallas Executive Airport during the Wings Over Dallas Air Show. A post-impact fire ensued. Five crew members of the B-17 and the pilot of the P-63 were fatally injured. There were no ground injuries reported. We're analyzing radar and video footage to pinpoint the exact location of where the midair occurred. The debris field is scattered with the majority of the wreckage landing on the airport property. The, the debris which landed outside the airfield was documented and recovered by the Dallas Police Department and turned over to the NTSB. We are coordinating the wreckage to be removed to a secure location to lay out both aircraft and examine the airframe, airframe and engines as part of the NTSB's standard investigative process. Both aircraft were owned and operated by American Air Power Heritage Flying Museum. The, invest, the NTSB's investigator in charge and with me today is Jason Aguilera. Jason will be joined by a deputy investigator in charge, Mike Hodges. Several other NTSB investigators will be examining the following areas. Airworthiness, operations, air traffic control, and aircraft performance. The NTSB's teams on scene investigate, investigate activities today include, we began securing the audio recordings from the air traffic control tower. We surveyed the accident site by the NTSB's drone, as well as photographed the scene from the ground to document the accident site prior to wreckage being removed, or being moved, excuse me. 